guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is going to be a chatty get ready with me and I have never done one of these on my channel before. I was thinking there if I have, but I'm 99.9% .9 sure that I have not. Pretty much I'm just gonna do this makeup look that's on my face and talk to you guys, update you on some stuff. I just thought I would do a chatty makeup tutorial because I haven't done one before and I really like watching them so hopefully you guys enjoy this. I feel like I'm rambling already so if you'd like to see how I achieve this look then please just keep on watching and I really hope you guys First enjoy. First off I'm going to be doing my eyebrows. I'm going to be using this Freedom Brow Pomade in the shade Soft Brown. To apply the product to my brows I'm using the Zoeva 317 Wing Liner but obviously I'm not using it for liner. I'm using it for my eyebrows. So I'm just popping this on as usual. If you want to see a eyebrow tutorial kind of like routine, I don't know what you would call it, then just let me know in the comments because I shall do that. Once that pomade is on, I'm gonna go over my brows to set them in place using Benefit's Gimme Brow. This is, uh, what shade is this in? Three. I feel like recently my eyebrows have definitely been sisters and not twins. I'd even go as far as saying they were like long lost cousins or something like that. I'm going to do my eyeshadow next so I'm just going to use this LA Girl Pro Primer and this is in the shade Nude. So I'm just popping this everywhere where I apply eyeshadow so all over my lid and underneath too. So I don't really know what to say first because I feel like I really have not sat down and like spoken to you guys for a while. Um, a lot of people were asking me about my job. They were asking if I still work at Benefit. And the answer to that question is no, I do not work at Benefit anymore. Um, I just, it's a long story. I just don't work there anymore. Sorry if I'm talking to you guys, then be like, oh, I'm using this. It's just because I don't want to like continue talking and not show what I'm using. So I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder and Translucent to set that primer in place. I don't want to get into the reasons why I left Benefit. Pretty much I left, I was only there for like two or three months, no, three months. That sounds really bad, but I was only there for three months and I've actually went back to my old job. I'm just gonna use this shade from the Kat Von D shade and light palette to buff into my crease and be a transition shade. Some of you may or may not know before I started working at Benefit, I worked in a care home. So that is what I went back to. Not really what I want to do. It's not really obviously in the beauty industry, but however, it's not the worst job ever. I do like it. And also recently, as in this morning, I got accepted into college to do fashion makeup. Yay! On the same fluffy brush, I'm gonna take Max Texture Eyeshadow and just buff it into my crease as well. This shade's just a little bit darker than that one from the Kat Von D palette, so it'll just deepen it a little bit. I start college quite soon, I believe. Like, I've got my induction on Thursday, and this is currently Tuesday, so it's quite a quick start. Then I'm just taking this deep red shade and popping in the outer corners in my crease, not too far into this area here, just focusing on the outer parts. Also, I don't know if many of you know, but I am doing freelance makeup, like on weekends and stuff, or whenever people want me to. I'm doing their makeup, so like for weddings and stuff, I'm going and doing people's makeup for events. I might do a separate video on that, just information and like other things like involving me doing freelance makeup so you get more um, information and stuff. I just feel like finally my life is kind of getting on track again because for a few months there I was just quite like a wee bit miserable because I'm like I didn't really enjoy my job at Benefit um, as much as I hoped. Uh, I just started to not like it as much and then I went back to my old job and I was like this isn't really what I want to do like in the future and then I decided to just apply for college and thankfully I got in, started doing my freelance more, I got my own car um, and yeah I just feel like things are finally going on track and I'm a lot more happier so yeah that's always a good thing. I'm just wiping away some of that fallout from those eyeshadows off my face. I'm gonna take this dark brown shade from the Kat Von D shade and light palette and just pop that right in the inner corners. Inner corners? No, the outer corners of my eyes. I feel like because I'm gonna to go to college and obviously do makeup, which I love, that's gonna motivate me more to do more on my YouTube channel because recently I've had all these holidays and I'm so thankful and grateful that I've been on holidays, like they were all amazing. But I just felt like 
every time I went on a holiday and I came back, I'm like, all oh, right, okay, I'm away again in four weeks. I have to plan all the stuff I was working and all this. And it just, I put my YouTube to the side when I shouldn't have. And um, now I have no more holidays. Um, I haven't planned any uh, yet, but I just want to focus more on my YouTube channel. I want to plan a lot more videos. So if you have any videos you'd like me to do, then please leave them in the comments below. So I'm just gonna get a clean blending brush and blend that all together. My main lid colour is going to be this amazing, warm, shimmery orange colour and this is from the Neve Cosmetics Duochrome palette. And I actually got set in this quite a while ago and I just haven't really used it much but the shades are so pigmented and I just like it having some lights, the colour changes. So I'm just gonna use a flat eyeshadow brush and then I'm going to spray it with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray just so the brush is wet and it just makes it more pigmented and I'm just going to pop this on my main lid area. I feel like I want the outer corners of the eyes a little bit darker so I'm actually going to take the black. This is the blackest black I have ever ever tried. Even blacker than Max Carbon and that is black. So I'm just going to pop this on the outer corners. I have to be really careful applying this because it really is really intense. I'm kind of just going to pack that on the outer corners. Then use my blending brush and just blend that. To highlight my brow bones, I'm going to do it matte. I'm going to be using this white shade from the shade and light palette here. Look how pigmented that white is. Sorry, that caught me off guard there. How pigmented that is. So I'm going to put mascara on my top lashes only. This is a little sample size of the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. Really need to get the full size but I just haven't got around to doing that yet. So to prime my face, I'm going to use the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I got this at Duty Free and I thought I would get it because of two reasons. One, because basically every YouTuber has tried this and said it's amazing. And two, because obviously at Duty Free, you get things cheaper. So I'm just going to spray a couple sprays on my face. By a couple, I meant soak my face in it. Okay, so I'm going to use this cream highlighter by MAC that I also got duty free. This is obviously one of those collection things. It looks kind of cool, tribal pattern. This is called Yellow Topaz. It's a golden highlighter and I just like using cream highlighters before I put on my foundation. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to use a little foundation brush. Pop this on my cheekbones like so. This is like so pigmented. I love it. I'm also going to put a little bit on my nose to highlight my nose, cupid's ball. And then the other side of my face. I'm going to put a little bit on my forehead as well, just so I can have that Jennifer Lopez glow. For foundation, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Foundation. I just didn't want anything dewy because I've like put loads of highlighter on. So this is a matte foundation and I'm going to mix Dew the Hula in with this because this is a liquid bronzer and this is in the shade Porcelain and because I've been on holiday I am not a porcelain gal anymore. So I'm going to mix those two products together. This is not good. I think I've just ran out of Dew the Hula and I only put like two squirts in my hand and as you can see this ain't going to work. But I will just need to deal with it and use a lot of bronzer. Let's just blend this in and hope for the best. That's actually blending in really nicely and not as pale as I thought I was going to be. For under my eyes, I'm going to use this Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Rewind Concealer. I just got this, this is a new one, so it's going to take me a minute to actually get the lid off. So I'm just going to pop this underneath my eyes and I'm also going to use this as kind of like a highlight as well. I'm just going to blend that in with the same foundation brush. I actually forgot how nice this concealer is. It's so good.
So with the remainder of what's left of Tuna Hula, I am going to use this to cream contour. I'm just going to pop this on. This is actually quite sheer as well, so it won't come off like really, really strong. I hope. So I'm just going to set that concealer everywhere where I highlighted in place using the Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder. Then to set my cream contour in place I'm going to use the Bourjois Chocolate Bronzer which I haven't used in ages and I don't really know why. For blush, I'm going to use this L'Oreal blush. This is in the shade 145 Rosewood. I'm just going to put it on my apples of my cheek and then up to where I put my bronzer. Not too much up, but hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing. So for highlight, I'm actually going to be using an eyeshadow. I'm going to be using Max Nylon eyeshadow to highlight my cheekbones and like everywhere else where I normally highlight. I'm pretty much just going over where I put that cream highlighter. Okay, so to finish off the eyes, I'm going to take this orangey peachy shade on this fluffy brush and just buff it um, on my lower lash line areas. I've just like completely forgotten that this was supposed to be like a chat to get ready with me. I honestly feel like I've updated you like on the first half of the video. I don't think there's anything else to update you guys on. Oh, also, I'm 19 now. I had my birthday in July and it was really fun. I uploaded a birthday video because my boyfriend took me to St Andrews and surprised me. So you should watch that video. On a smudger brush, I'm gonna take this dark brown shade and pop this right up where my lash line area is. Talking about um, my birthday video, obviously that was a vlog has got me thinking about vlogging to you guys about vlogging. I got a new camera and I really, really want to start vlogging. I have been, I vlogged my birthday. I vlogged that trip to Loch Lomond with Ellis, which was really short, but I thought I would just upload it anyway. And I vlogged my Menorca holiday as well. I just want to know if you guys want to see some more vlogs because I really do like vlogging. I'm getting more confident at vlogging as well. And I just feel like it would be nice to upload some vlogs like of my life, even though my life ain't like some sort of like excitement. But just occasionally I do some fun things that I would like to film and like keep and remember them and put on my channel and if you want to see more of that kind of thing then please let me know. I was going to apply some eyeliner, like pencil eyeliner, but I think the brown shadow that I put really close to my lash line kind of just does it for me, that's dark enough. So I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm then gonna highlight the inner corners of my eyes using nylon. Look at that, that is amazing. I absolutely love nylon. I'm gonna use the leftover product just slightly on my brow bones there. Just ever so slightly because this is intense, this eyeshadow is so pigmented. So now it's time for eyelashes. I'm going to use these red cherry ones. They are the number 48. Okay, so Indecisive Me, now that my lashes are on, wants to put some of that black pencil on my waterline so that's what I'm gonna do. This is just by Avon, it's just a gel eyeliner so yeah I'm just gonna pop this on. Now I'm just gonna put some of that Urban Decay Perversion Mascara on my bottom lashes. time for the lips. I'm going to be using this Kiko Smart Lip Pencil in the shade 700. This is just a nude shade. Now for my lips, I'm going to use this Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Noble. This is like a peachy nude. 
I absolutely love it and would you believe that my boyfriend actually picked this shade. Last but not least, I'm going to give my face a good spray of the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Since I first bought this, I bought the travel size one and I had to get the bigger size um, once that ran out. This Honestly, I cannot live without this now. I really do think it helps prolong the wear of your makeup and I use this on my clients too. So I'm just gonna spray it on my face. So guys, that's this makeup look complete. I really hope you enjoyed this chatty get ready with me. I don't know if it was too chatty, but I just wanted to update you guys on a few things and talk to you a little bit because sometimes I just literally pop on makeup and don't even talk to you guys. Something a little bit different and please give this video a big thumbs up if you would like to see more chatty get ready with me's. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.